Hey y'all, I'm out here in the Stinchcomb Wildlife Refuge herping. It's a, I mean, it's a pretty nice place. It's real wet and there's a lot of mosquitoes. It's kind of muggy, but I mean, I hope I can find something. I'll get back to you guys if I find anything. First find of the day, a little Western narrow mouth toad. Pretty common. I flipped them under that rock. But good find. I'm gonna let him go and keep herping. Bye, buddy. At one point in time, turtles existed here. That's an old red eared slider shell. So far, this has been kind of trash, but I mean, I'll keep trying. <laughs> Snake alert, snake alert. All right. There it is. Got it. No. It's back under. Okay. Nice. Got him. This is a western rat snake, juvenile. A nice find. This is a pretty, pretty one too. It's pretty small, juvenile, but he bit me a few times earlier. <laughs> but what a nice find. It's very small. I mean, he's he's definitely a juvenile. Probably a two-yearling. Nice find. All right, time to let him go. Juvenile western rat snake. Time to let him go. Nice find. Ugh. Bye, buddy. Next herb of the day, a pretty little brown skink. Hashtag skink stacks. We haven't showed these guys in a video in a while, so I thought I'd catch them and show them to you guys. These guys are super common, but I still like finding them. All right, time to let them go. Go back in your home. What is that? Is that a huge crayfish? I think it is. Well, that's kind of cool. Big Papa crayfish here. Right next to this lake. Yeah, it's not a hurt, but you know what? This channel is about all wildlife, including this this cool crayfish. Mouse. Cute. I'm back in Oklahoma, and we just caught this little red-eared slider. Road cruise this little guy. Not little, actually. Pretty big uh, woodhouse's toad. We're just gonna take a photo of him and leave him, move him off the road. Second wood houses of road cruising night. So, I mean, this one's a lot smaller than the last one. I'm gonna get a photo. And we're on our third wood houses toad for the night. I'd like to see an American toad. We have come across our fourth little wood houses toad. I'm not even gonna take a photo of this. They're everywhere tonight. Got it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Right, the supposed ring neck boards that <laughs> I've never I've never flipped these. Wow, look at all those ring necks. It's, oh yep, see there is a ring neck right there. Told you. All right, we just cruised our first snake of the night, little midland brown snake or decays brown snake. Probably a gravid female. Looking at how wide it is. Oh my god, what a fatty! What a fatty! He's not too happy. Get this girl off the road on the other side and uh, keep going. New species of the night. Little gray tree frog. We've been hearing this call, so we know it's not a copse. It's not a trill. It's, a, it's actually a gray tree frog, even though it's green. All right, there's a second one over there. We've got this one here. All right, everybody, we're headed to a flip spot that I've never been to before, but uh, Keaton has, so we'll see. Big boy. Big boy. <laughs> Big Bessie. Look, look at that stunner. Well, we just got this orange striped ribbon snake at the expense of the entire back of my leg. I'm really hoping I get a king. I deserve a king snake now. <laughs> this thing is kind of boring. Back in your foot, buddy. Well, we just flipped our second ribbon snake, another orange stripe. He has a darker stripe. He's old.
I'll let this guy go. They're pretty common. All right. Well, if he wants to go in there, he can go in there. All right, well, we just flipped this little prairie lizard here. I haven't seen a prairie lizard in a little while. I've only been seeing the fence lizards. This guy doesn't have a pretty belly. There he is. You can see his markings. Prairie lizard. I'll let him go. All right, he, there he goes. Right there. Just flip this little guy here. Prairie ringneck snake. Pretty cool under this little piece of tin here. Just curled up right there. Just gonna take a photo and let him go. We finally found a reptile of any sorts after working our butts off. It's a nice red-eared slider. Pretty common, but still cute. Update, uh, it's a worm in his mouth. We interrupted his, uh, his lunch time, so time to let him go and keep Owen Liss herping. There he goes. Got another turtle. I caught him in memory of Owen McCool. I'm gonna name him McCool. Nice. I don't know what else to say. It's just another red eared slider. All right, uh, Brave Wilderness, watch out. I am, Keaton's coming I'm, for your job. I'm gonna enter the, the bite zone of the red eared slider. Come on. Ah! <laughs> turtle catching 101. Bye, buddy. Just a quick interlude. Owen tore his muscle and got really bad cuts. Just wanted to say, be careful while you're herping because it easily could have been worse. He's perfectly fine now. Well, that was unintentional. I came just on a nice walk, you know, and I flipped this random thing I saw and I found a little Midland. Third one of these I found in like two weeks. I wasn't herping today, but I found this guy, so I guess that is herping. Accidentally found a second one. <laughs> That was an accident. Decay's brown snake day, I guess. This is a beautiful red-eared slider. It's a decent sized one. It's not too big, not too small, but yeah, that beautiful plastron. That pretty carapace. Bye, buddy. Time to let him go. Swim off. You're free. I've been trying to catch one of these guys forever now. An American bullfrog. Now they're super common, but they're hard to catch. They're so fast. This is a nice find. <laughs> Looks like he opted to just sit in my hand. <laughs> he's totally fine. I'm not sure what he's doing, but that is hilarious. When it's sitting in my hand, it looks fake. It's so funny. Look at that. All right, buddy. Oh! All righty, guys. I'm at the place where there are supposed to be a bunch of rough greens. I found them here before, and this is the only spot in Oklahoma that I've ever found them. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get searching. Not even 30 seconds after I stopped filming. There's a buddy right there. I'm gonna grab him real quick. Look at that. That's a new species for the year. Pretty cool, pretty cool indeed. Um, this is my favorite snake in the state of Oklahoma. My favorite non-venomous snake. Probably just gonna put this little guy back in uh, after some photos. I'm gonna let this guy go back in his uh, back in his tree in a second. I just, it's kind of hard for me to walk. It looks so cool. My favorite non-venomous snake in Oklahoma. If you can see it, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a, there's a second one up in that branch right there. It's, uh, it's too far because I gotta go through all this, so I'm not gonna go get him, but I'll see if I can find one's closer. Here's a brief guide to finding rough green snakes in Oklahoma. I know you can find rough greens in other part of the state, but this is the best place to find them. There's a really condensed micro population here so it's really easy to find one when you when you come here it's on the south side of oklahoma city behind a lot of hotels it's on the shore of the north canadian river near the boathouse district but just don't destroy the land be careful with the snakes we, we don't want to mess up this awesome little microhabitat. thanks for watching i'm pretty sure the next video will be owen so see you later